Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have an Evans lighter case combo. See the patent number there. And it doesn't appear as though the flint tube is uh, clear. So we're going to see what we can do about remedying that. Go ahead and start by taking out the flint spring screw. kind of tight quarters down in there there's the screw and the spring and you can see the dust that fell out into the case there so we're going to go ahead and remove these fulcrum screws Make sure that you don't let everything go flying off. Keep it. Keep your hand or your fingers across the top of it. Okay, so you see that mechanism come out of there pretty easy at that point. And we'll get this out of here and see exact, exactly which kind of variety of triggers light system we got. There's the spring that seats into the... Man, that one doesn't look like it wants to come out, so maybe it doesn't on these. So we'll just leave that one. Um, now here you can see the flint tube is obstructed so we will go ahead and clear that shouldn't be too much of an issue there you go so 332nd We'll go blow that out real quick. So let's see now what the flint spring screw that reaches as far as we need it to. And you can see it will. this locks together you've got the ratcheting arm 
and your uh, file wheel you can go ahead and disengage this from the thumb lever and boy that that file wheel was really corroded and nasty So we'll clean these up, get it put back together. Get some of that grime out of it. A little alcohol and brass brush there. Okay, so now we've got everything cleaned up there. And we'll get it put back together here. It's the first one of these Evans case lighters that I've done. Um, in the regular Evans trigger light, this would come out and I don't know for sure it might but I'm not gonna mess with it because it's already in there and um, it's just a little nail sticking up in there into the spring and seated in that hole you've seen it in the other video <clears throat> so anyway we're gonna start here now that we've already got that the spring in place we got our thumb wheel looks like I need to clean this a little better <laughs> okay you got most of that off there now anyway so you're gonna take the thumb lever along with your file wheel into place and then you're gonna put the first fulcrum screw in place Now a lot of times with these Evans lighters these screws have been replaced with rivets or they are stripped out. So it's just a matter of working that all into place and then that screwdriver's too big. As I said, sometimes you won't be able to go ahead and screw that down. It's just a matter of getting it through the hole. Um, just like um, in a lot of the old lighters, these were replaced with rivets. So that is probably about as far as we're going to get that one I believe and I don't think it's really even threaded in so but it doesn't change how we are performing the job at hand whether that be a rivet or a screw uh, your goal is the same you've got the gear to the back side you've got the file wheel 
between the arms of the thumb lever. Now we're going to get the spring into place underneath here. And that's going to complete that portion of the project. Next, have your fulcrum screw ready and you need to put the ratcheting arm in front of the gear So you see it in front there. And then that will all seat in together. Right into place. Get your rear fulcrum screw. Slide right in, and I believe that one did thread out, so hopefully we can get it to thread back in. Okay, so that did thread in tight there. Let's get a flint in here and see how it behaves. So we will go ahead and drop the flint down here. Maybe where screwdrivers have nicked it up in the past, actually, or something. So we got the flint in, flint spring, and now the flint screw. There we go. And get this fueled up. If you like watching instructional videos for old petrol lighters, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video that you are watching. Please tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button, send that link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves. Leave any comments or questions below. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. Until next time.